welcome to my channel. This DIY is based on a Wonder Woman boot that I saw online. It's being sold anywhere from $100 to $200. So I thought I'd do my own version. This version took me about an hour uh, to make and it took maybe $20 out of my pocket. So I think this is a really good shoe for Halloween. I also think it's a good shoe for um, a cosplay costume. It's a lot less expensive than the actual boots, but it still gives you the Wonder Woman theme. For this project, you will need a stencil. I used a face painting size stencil with the Wonder Woman logo on it. Masking tape, paint. I used pearlescent 18 karat gold and pearlescent riot red, both from Angelus. A satin acrylic finisher and of course my shoes. You may remember these from my shoe haul video. I paid $5 for these shoes. If you're gonna use your own, obviously the project will be even less. So I say you could do this whole thing for less than $20. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is tape off my shoe. I am going to be painting this part of the shoe gold as well as this part and the heel. So I'm gonna quickly tape these off and I'll be right back. So my shoe is taped off. Instead of painting all the gold parts and then all of the red parts, I'm going to paint my shoe from the top down because I feel like it'll be easier to hold as I'm painting the other portions. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the gold straps. I'm going to paint the body red. I'm going to let that dry and I'll come right back. So this is the pearlescent paint and if you feel like you might get the paint on your hands then I would suggest wearing gloves but I think I'm okay so I'm just going to start off at the bottom and paint my way up and it's kind of hard to paint with the camera but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how it's looking so once it's fully painted I will definitely come back and show you the result but that's really cute so far this is what the shoe looks like after the first coat of gold paint. Hopefully you can see that. I tried to change the lighting a little bit. And if you can see this mess right here, I had a gold paint spill. So that's just a friendly reminder that you always want to paint over something that's protecting your surface. So this is what the shoe looks like after the third and final coat. I'm going to paint the rest of the shoe and come back. Okay, first of all, sorry for the change in lighting. I've been trying to white out my video, but for some reason it won't. So I just want to give you an update on the shoe because I'm not showing myself actually painting it. Um, this is what the shoe looks like after I've done the three coats of gold, and then this is one coat of the red pearlescent. It's turning out exactly how I wanted it to as far as the coloring is concerned because I wanted the coloring to look kind of muted like the boot. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you the final result in just a little bit. So once your shoe has dried, you would apply the finisher and then let that dry, and this is the final result. I love how this shoe turned out. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Um, I did try the stencil, but I did not like how that turned out. I couldn't make it sit flush and I wanted to put it right here. Uh, so I did add it to the back of the shoe, just like a small little hint of the logo, if you can see that in gold. Um, but it didn't work for me, but that's not to say it wouldn't work for you. I think this is a perfect shoe not only for Halloween, but also for Comic Con if you want a slightly different look or if you want to pay a little bit less than the $100 to $200 for the Wonder Woman boots. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back and visit soon.